Who are you? What is your identity? And what voices are you listening to? Let me explain. Do you ever find yourself saying, Ah, you are such a loser. You're a fraud, a, a failure. You don't have what it takes, you're just too stupid. Or you might look in the mirror and say, Wow, I am such an ugly person. Let me ask you, do you think that that's the voice of the Almighty God that you're hearing? Or is it the voice of someone else? Now I want you to listen closely to what the Word of God says about the core of who you are. Your identity. Now the Bible says you belong to the King. You are a child of the King. You are a disciple of the King. It says you may approach the King with freedom and confidence. You have direct access to the throne of the King. In fact, it says you are seated with Him in the heavenly realm. That you are made righteous by the King. That you are loved by the King. Do you understand that? That the Sovereign King accepts you. He has befriended you. He has chosen you. He has completed you. Nothing you can think of can define His infinite love for you. You are adopted as His child. It says that you are united with Him. That you will spend eternity in His presence. Do you realize the fullness of what that means? You have been given everything you need for life and for godliness. You are a citizen of His kingdom. You are healed by Him. You are hidden in Him. You are defended by Him. You are guided in Him. You are one with His Spirit. And listen to this. You have not been given the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. Do you understand that? Nothing can separate you from Him. Nothing! And that's not all. Oh, it goes on and on and on and on. You are established. You are anointed. You are His workmanship. You are sealed through Him. You are saved by Him. You are sanctified. You are justified. You have been redeemed by the King. He has cleansed you. He has bought you. You can't be forgiven of sin without Him. And you can't be freed from condemnation outside of Him. You were buried and baptized into His death. And you were raised with Him into new life. His death is your death. His life is your life. You are made alive by the King. So listen. Don't cheat us of your contribution by living a life based on an unhealthy self-perspective. Give us what you got. Give us the new creation that you are. You are a new creation in Christ. A new creation.